Hi Slayers and welcome back to my channel. My name is Eileen and in today's video we are going to be talking about customizing your MacBooks. I love MacBooks. I love Apple products and not in like a oh tech bro kind of way but in like a like a girly kind of way and also kind of like a nerd kind of way. But today we're going to be talking not about specs at all, just about customizing, which is obviously the best part. When I first got my MacBook in 2020, I was obsessed with it. I started customizing it and I found ways that literally I cannot live without to this day. Like it needs to be customized this way or it's not going to work for me. So I'm going to walk you through all the basic customizations, but also some of the more fun ones and some ones that are literally really important. So if you have a MacBook and it needs to be cleaned or decorated or rejuvenated or you're getting a new one, all very exciting. I hope that this video helps you in some way because I literally love this stuff. So I'm going to start with apps that I could not live without. When I tell you that these apps changed my user experience for the better, like, mwah, I'm so glad I found out about these. So the most important one to me is called Tiles, and you can download it off the internet. I will try to put a link in the description. A couple of these apps you're going to have to download off the internet, and when you do, you're going to have to input your password, like your admin password, to the computer. But don't worry, as long as you're careful about what you're downloading, you're not downloading a virus. So what is Tiles, you might ask? Tiles is a very helpful app for Windows. For whatever reason, Mac OS is very strange about tiling and like Windows and stuff. And you basically have to click and drag every like corner for it to fit in your screen perfectly. But this app basically lets you do that with just the click of your mouse. Okay, so this is like the interface of tiles. It just shows you all of the key commands that you can do to make your Windows do these certain things. But they also have snap to edges things. Okay, let's just say I just opened this window and it looks like this. If I want to make it full screen automatically, all I have to do is click and hold it and drag it to the top and you see that the screen starts to light up, then it turns full screen. So it's super helpful for just really quickly organizing your windows. And it makes it a lot easier to like split screen also because I can just click and drag right there and it'll do it. So this is a very useful app. And whenever I use a Mac that doesn't have this installed, I'm constantly like, oh my God, why does it take so long to stretch out each individual window? This is so annoying. At the end of the day, it's just something that makes my workflow feel faster and I'm really glad that I found it. Okay, this next app is also another app you need to download from the internet and it is called Vanilla. And what Vanilla does is it hides all the ugly things in your dock at the top of your like homepage. So because this dock comes with you wherever you go and whatever app you open, it gets so annoying if it starts to get cluttered. And I like to be able to hide it and make it very minimalistic. So this is vanilla. It just is a little arrow that comes up and you can put all of the things that you want. You just click command and drag whatever you want within this little dot in this little arrow. And once you press the arrow, it hides it. So it's, it's very helpful, very convenient, and you still have a lot of access to it because the arrow is just so easy to click. Let me show you what it looks like without vanilla. So ugly, right? But once I turn it on, it already looks so much better. So I really enjoy having it. And there is like a pro version, but I don't pay for that. So I don't really know. Okay, this next app is a download from the internet, but it is not free. I did actually pay for it, but let me tell you, it is so worth it. It's very popular and there's a lot of ads and like influencers talking about it, but I am not sponsored or anything. I just honestly really love it. It's called Clean My Mac X. And let me tell you, it is so helpful. I have downloaded this twice to take out viruses from my friend's computers and it does it so efficiently and nice and I feel so protected with it on my computer and it was actually really cheap. I believe I paid $90 for it for, for life. It's not a subscription, it is for life. So basically what it does is it scans your Mac whenever you click scan. <laughs> it looks at your files, it looks to help find things that you need to clean up. And it also scans for protection, so you make sure, like, when if you ever download something a little sketch, that you're not getting a virus also. So here is my Clean My Mac saying, I, I probably should have run it before and cleaned up some of this junk, but, you know, it's really helpful to just, like, see at a glance, like, hey, maybe, maybe you have a lot of crap on your computer. I really like the uninstaller it has, because a lot of times an app comes with a bunch of files that you don't necessarily realize are on your computer, and so it, it goes in and deletes the file folders that an app creates when you download it also. So I feel a lot more safe opening apps from the web because I know I can delete it and like fully delete it. And then I absolutely love large and old files because it shows you by gigabyte what is taking up space on your computer. And if you're someone like me who kind of hoards some files on your computer, this is so helpful. And to think that I paid $90 for this like two years ago and I still have it to this day is it's a, it's a good feeling, you know? Okay, now for the fun stuff. Oh, this is my desktop. 
I'm gonna move my mouse. This is a clock. This is the Aesthetic Mac clock. And it's super easy to download. All you have to do is go search for Flip Clock Screensaver Mac and click on this first link. I believe it's called Fly Clo. <laughs> and click through to this page where you can click download for free. And then you're just gonna open it from your downloads and double click this one that says saver. I already have it installed, so it's gonna give me this pop-up, but I'm just gonna replace it. And it should just be installed, ta-da! Super easy and super cute and aesthetic. And whenever you walk away from your desk or something, they don't want people to see what's on your screen, you can just go to screensaver. Now, I do have a hot corner installed for a screensaver, which is basically just a place where you hover your mouse to and it'll turn your Mac off into sleep mode. It can get annoying sometimes when you like accidentally do it, but for the most part, it's pretty nice to just always know, okay, if I drag my mouse to the left corner, it will always turn on my screensaver. It might look a little bit different depending on what Mac OS you have installed, but I just went to my settings and typed in hot corners, and then this little menu should pop up and then you can just pick what hot corner you want and how you want to activate it mine i believe i just hover and dwell for a little bit so it's pretty simple and easy and then you can always go to your home screen anyways take a look at my home screen i have little file folders that are red because my background is red now there's a lot of different ways you can go about this but the easiest way and the reason that all of my files are slightly smaller is because i basically took a screenshot of this little folder and imported it into Canva and edit and remove the background. And now I have this little file folder where I can change the color to be whatever I want just by clicking edit and playing around with some of the colors. And then you can download and choose transparent background. Once you've downloaded the image, you're going to open the image and then you're going to click on the image and click command A, which is going to select all and then command C to copy it. Then you're going to go over to whatever folder icon you want to change and you're going to click command I to open the information panel and you see this tiny little folder at the top and you can click on it and once you click on it you can click command V and it will paste whatever you have copied. So this one is very small but usually you could just make the size however you want it and you can also do this with any image out there. So you can go online and just find some PNGs of this folder and use that. You can actually do this with not only things on your Mac, but you can do it with anything that you plug into your Mac. So any hard drive or SD card. And I do this to all of mine and it makes them really funny and cute. And you can really make this as creative as you want it to be. I know a friend that makes them all little tiny TVs, which I think is really cute. But for me, I just like it simple and cohesive and to match my background. Speaking of backgrounds, we're going to go back to Canva because this is how you make the mother of all desktop backgrounds. The first thing you're going to do is go and create a new design and then you're going to manually input the file size. It's going to be 3024 pixels by 1964 and this should fit across your background nicely and we're going to create a new design. Then you're going to click on the actual thing and decide what color you want it to be. Let's say I want it to be blue, a nice blue. And then you are going to go into Pinterest and screenshot or download or take your own photos and put every little happy mood board photo that you can onto this background. So I'll show you some of my older ones. I have this like mint green one. I had this one for Halloween. I had this one for Christmas. And now this is my current one. And I took a couple of these photos and I also got a couple of them from Pinterest. I put a couple quotes on there that inspire me. And then you're just going to click share and download. Download however you like, preferably probably a JPEG or a PNG. Go to your settings and then wallpaper. It makes you pick the folder where the photo is first and then you can choose where the file is. Now it's important to note, if you could just to go to the photo and right click and click set desktop picture, that will only make it a desktop picture for one of your desktops when you go to your mission landing page. So I could basically make this random Thursday thing my desktop picture. But it's only going to show up for this desktop and you see when I make a new desktop they just come out looking like the original first desktop. So it's important to go through your settings if you want to have a singular desktop picture for all of your desktops. But if you want to have different ones then you should right click and click set desktop picture. Okay that is the bulk of the decoration things but there are two things that I look at on every single Mac that I come across or feel, which, which sounds a little weirder, but the first thing is the trackpad lightness and fastness. You can go into your settings and please do this. And you can make your trackpad a little bit faster so it doesn't take as long for you to get across one side of the screen to the other. The next thing I look at is the dock. 
My dock is very clean. I have only the things that I need on it, much like my iPhone home screen bar would be. I try to treat my dock the same way. I also have it pop out um, instead of it just always hovering because I don't always need it. You can, you can go away for a little bit. And if you notice, when I close or minimize a window, it goes into the actual application instead of making a little side thing off to the side. So I'm gonna show you to fix that real quick if you're just doing that. So when you toggle on minimize windows into application icon, um, that's what makes it go into the icon. When you don't, you see it like goes off to the side, which I think is, is so weird. So um, I always have that checked on. I also have checked off show recent applications in the dock. I don't need it to show what I've recently clicked on. I just feel like it's it's weird and it's inconsistent. And I also have on automatically hide and show the dock because without it, it's just always there. And I feel like that's a little bit annoying. So, um, and I also have genie effect. And this is just a really small one. Basically, whenever you minimize a window, when you don't have genie effect on, you see how it kind of like the animation's strange, but the genie effect makes it like, slowly get smaller and bigger as it goes into the app. So it's just a really small personal preference. Now this last one is very, very important. If you right click on your home screen and click use stacks, this is what my desktop looks like without stacks. It is so scary. Always use stacks and you can, you can group it however you want. I have mine grouped by kind. It basically just makes little categories for all of your little things on your desktop. And basically when you take a bunch of screenshots at once and you don't want it to like completely clutter up your whole desktop, you can just click on the stack and it will expand the stack, but then you, then you can close the stack, which is very important. And also this very, very important one to clean up a desktop, even if you don't use stacks. If you right click and click show view option, you'll have a tiny little menu appear and you can click under the sort by, there's a drop down, click snap to grid. This will make all of your things not just randomly placed, it will at least snap to some sort of grid. Without this, you can basically just put an image literally anywhere and it, it, you can just stack them on top of each other and then you can lose things super, super quickly. So I always have on grid and I always have on stacks because without it, the desktop is a nightmare. And that is all. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you have a MacBook and you're very excited about MacBooks and customization, I hope one of these tips helped you because I honestly live by all of these. I use them so often and I really, really cannot stress how important it is to make your devices efficient because they're supposed to be your workhorses. Anyways, I am going to sign off now and so is Anxiety Attack the Mac and I'm going to go to bed. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Like and subscribe. Bye! It's so pretty. Oh, I've lost my hand.